Hey guys, it's Antonio. This is my training footage from April 5th to April 15th. I think this was supposed to be like five to six weeks out of my competition, maybe seven, but it got postponed due to current events. So it was a provincial in BC. It was got postponed from May 30th to like November 20th. The thing is, nationals is uh, August 8th or August 9th, I forgot. So because of this, people in BC can't qualify for the nationals because it got postponed until past nationals. And also in this country, we're not allowed to travel between provinces right now. So because of that, they didn't tell me this specifically, but they said I can compete in nationals. The reason being probably because it's impossible for me to qualify and I was already registered for the provincials. And I'm assuming a lot of people dropped out because of the current events. And I don't think some of the people from other provinces will be able to make it to nationals, like people from Alberta or something, which is a province away. Maybe they will be, maybe they won't be. So, uh, yeah, just an update. I kind of changed what I wanted to do. So here's just a picture of me being 217 pounds. Uh, I was supposed to cut to 220 for my class uh, 100 kg, which is like 220.4 pounds. So basically I had to be under 220. I decided I no longer want to be 220 pounds, uh, nothing to do with working out and lifting. I, I got this way because one, I was always heavier, like 200 pounds, but I was building a strength base and then the gyms got closed for like four to five months due to the current events in the world. Uh, so I went up to 250. That's because I wasn't allowed to go to the gym and weren't allowed to go outside that much. And I didn't eat worse. I ate the same, but, and I also switched my job from a laborer's job to more of a, you know, like a, I was a construct, I was a laborer doing form work. Then I became a construction safety officer. There was still some physical activity to the job, but nowhere near as much as being a laborer and no more gym. So I went to 250 pounds from like 200, 205. I cut down to 220 or 230. In the last video before this, I was about 227. In this footage, I'm around 225 pounds. So, uh, that 217 pounds is actually me in the beginning of May. These videos are behind a few weeks. I'm going to be uploading uh, more regularly to catch back up. But anyways, I decided to compete at 90 kgs, 198 pounds. So here's me at 217. I took a diet break after because I decided to do uh, the 198 class before I knew I was postponed. So I was cutting really aggressively. No, I'm not. I took a diet break. Now I'm just like 218 to 220. And that's fed as well. Uh, not like stuffed, but after eating a meal. So I'm around the 217 mark still. I'm going to be going down to around at least 210 and then water cutting the rest of the way. But anyways, that's enough about that. Uh, let's talk about my training. This week, I maximum floor press. Uh, you know, then I'm doing floor press for reps. I switched out the 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 regular bench that I was doing before. I did that a while ago. And incline dumbbell press, that didn't change. The JM press volume went up to five sets instead of three. Uh, I don't remember, honestly, if it was three sets before. But yeah, nothing's changed really. Maxing on a good morning. Uh, box squatting, two sets of five. Good mornings. Uh, honestly, nothing has changed since the previous week except for the maxes. So I'm just going to get into the footage right away because I've already talked for about five minutes and I haven't even gotten to any footage. Okay, so this is me doing the floor press max. Uh, by the way, this footage, uh, this commentary is recorded a week after that intro. I had some stuff in my personal life, so I didn't have the time to commentate these videos and upload them. That's 225 ramp up. Uh, I, I'm going to do big clip dumps. Like, I have like four or five weeks of training that I'm going to upload every three days. I'll help the algorithm anyways. Because uh, I need to catch up. So there's 245. Previous max on this is 255. I've hit it three times, maybe only twice. So I go 245, then I go 260. I am cutting in this video, so all-time low weight at the time of 222, 223, and I PR. So I think I'm in a good position here. This is me doing the, based on that 260 max, I do 185. I think I was supposed to do a little lower, but it was over 180, and I just wanted to put the plate 25 on. So 185, I do it great for 10. So uh, this is close grip, but since then... I have moved all my benching to wide grip because my competition got postponed, like I said. So I have time to build my chest more and practice the wide grip. Uh, I still will max on close grip for a variation, but all my rep work and most of my maxes. And the 
need work where I change. So here's me doing 10 lay rows. Same thing as I've been doing for the last little while. 165. So, you know, same weight. It goes up with my bench, 60, 60%. I do need to get this to 65%, but back is my weak point. Honestly, now, though, a month later, my back's a bit stronger. But, yeah, um, I'm going to upload these videos, actually, two or three of them. I'm going to upload them today, but I'm going to put two of them on private and just upload this one. Because if I upload all of them at once, uh, people won't watch them. So here's me doing JM press. I know my sheet says to do the JM press before the rows, but I was waiting for this bench rack, and I didn't want to just stand there. And also, I did do the dumbbell incline, but I had no one to record it, and I can't really do that one self-recorded. I have to get someone to record it. And I think everyone's seen it anyways. So I do have footage of it in previous videos. I'll have footage in it in my next video, but it's dumbbell inclined. Uh, 45 degree angle. I know it doesn't say that on my sheet, but that's what it is. This is me doing JM press. Uh, I'm doing bad form on these, but since then, my form is is pretty good now. I'm going too down low on them. I'm putting my elbows out too much, but still, uh, I, honestly, I was still doing a lot of band work at this time. Since this week, this training week that you're watching, I, didn't, I haven't done any band work just because of time, time restrictions I've had, but... I felt no elbow pain doing these jam presses because I was doing lots of band tricep pull downs, getting blood into the area, building the connective tissue. So here's me doing these uh, upright rows. I don't, uh, before in previous videos, my sheet said high pulls or hang pulls. I forgot. But these are upright rows, so they're strict. I don't use body or leg drive and just upright rowing. So that's what these are it's for the trap area. Uh, traps, delts, kind of like a lateral raise. But uh, more compound. It, it's not a compound, multi joint uh, movement. So, you know, it's just uh, hypertrophy is more the area more. It is harder to recover from. And hypertrophy is the area more because it's hitting more targeted muscles. It uses a lot more stabilizers. So, here's me doing the good morning. I think this is me hitting just two plates, ramping up. Oh, no, this is just three plates. I don't have any footage of me ramping up. Sorry about that. <laughs> So, uh, 315, good morning, straight bar. Uh, here's me box squatting, 2 times 5. So, this is 325, which is 80% uh, of my 405 box squat. So, honestly, these are really heavy. I think this is my first week hitting these. I was two, the reason why I was doing 5s, I was coming off of doing safety squat bars for 10s, no box. But the reason why I'm doing box with the straight bar and for fives is because I was peaking for a powerlifting meet at the time. I didn't know it was postponed yet. And there you see me almost fail that rep. But I built the strength that I did not fail it, even if I missed group. That's why I get strong at all angles. I use different bars, use different variations of lifts. So here's the same. Uh, this is the next set, the second set. Uh, from a different angle. I just want to see my new angle. Not perfect, but pretty good. Pretty good worse on a box squat uh my 405 was better honestly now that it's a month later i'm coming around to hitting another new box squat max uh if you guys watch mikey hit 430 this is all me to a 12 inch box by the way what is the 12 i have three box heights 12 14 16 the 14 is parallel slightly below just a hair below 12 is two inches below parallel and the 16 is two inches above parallel haven't done 16 in a long time my 405 and these sets are all on 12. Mikey, if you watch his, did a 430 the other day, uh, probably like a month after this footage was, uh, you know, recorded, or at least three weeks. But 430, that was on his parallel box. So I don't know the height, but that's the equivalent of the 14 inch to me. I mean 12 inch. Next week, not next week in this video, next week real time. It's April 19th right now. Um, no, May 19th, my apologies. Uh, I'm doing a box squat 12 inch with a buffalo bar, but buffalo bar is fairly similar, so it can be equivalent. He had 430. I really want to hit 430, even though mine's deeper. So here's me doing the good mornings. Not the best form. I believe this is the first week back of me hitting uh, straight bar good mornings. You can see there the weight is less than the weight I was using for my safety squat bar good mornings. I'm just getting into it and I'm going off the percentages on my run at max. My coach said that. When I told him I only hit 315, he was surprised. He said, you probably had more in the tank. He sandbanked it. But he saw I had form breakdown, so that was a max, which is weird. But um, here's me belt squats uh, for volume because I'm not 
I'm doing uh, the box squats for five. They're hard to recover from. This is a little easier to recover from. Nothing on the spine. I increased the weight by five pounds per side. I was doing a plate 25 on each side. Now I do a plate 25 and a five. Honestly, lots of hypertrophy on the legs. I love this box squat or this uh, squat machine, belt squat machine. It's very good. I think everyone should be using it. Uh, it's really easy to recover from. You can get a lot of reps in, hits the quads. I do wide stance. So uh, the reason why we do wide stance in most of our work is one, it's more athletic. And uh, two, you don't get as much um, muscle imbalance, like from left to right sort of thing. And I don't like to do one-legged stuff unless you have to. Most people don't need to do one-legged stuff. So here's me doing a barbell hold. I believe this is 285 pounds. Um, just just double overhand grip, no hook grip, holding it for 10 seconds. I was doing this to work on my grip and, uh, you know, yeah, I just work on my grip for my competition so I don't miss a walkout. This is me doing my speed work on the bench, 135, and uh, the bands. You've seen my other video, I had green bands, they're 65 pounds. This video had blue and orange, uh, 50 and 16, or 50 and 15, which is 65. Why did I put those both on instead of the greens? So I forgot the greens at home. So I don't know if you can tell, like, uh, I have veins on my legs. <laughs> I, I, I cut a little bit, so you can see the veins a little bit on my legs. I'm just benching. Right now, they're actually super vain. I lost probably five pounds in this video. Honestly, in the intro, I said it was 217, but I did another diet. Like I said, I did a diet break to uh, about 218, 220. Now I'm about 221, 222. Uh, not morning weight, though. I, I need to weigh myself in the morning. I just haven't had the time. Obviously, I can make the time. It takes like one minute, but not that concerned. I have another two months here, two and a half months till my competition. I have about, in my estimation, 10 to 12 pounds to lose. So that's a pound a week, which is pretty doable. Um, I I have a new gym now. We're not going to talk about it much, but essentially, I don't have to wear a mask in that gym while I'm working out. So I'm going to increase the, the conditioning. I haven't been doing much GPP work, cardio conditioning, anything like that for work capacity. Because I wear a mask, I honestly I have a medical exemption. I, I'll actually, like, I can't. And then here, I know it says Penley Rose, but I had back problems. And if you haven't noticed, the previous leg day, uh, the, the max effort lower, I only did the max and the box squats and the good morning. So that's it. I didn't finish it. Back was hurting. Uh, here, my back was hurting as well, but I did cable. Uh, I've done these in the past year, maybe three or four times because I just couldn't pen lay row those days. I've mentioned that I used to do these on a, when I was doing the pen lay rows four times a week, sometimes I'd only pen lay row three times per week and do these once a week. Uh, now that on this sheet, I only have it twice a week. So I was either going to skip the rows or do these. So I did these. I haven't done these since then. I like to do these for 15 though, instead of tens. Uh, and then here again, upright rows. Honestly, these, very hard without the straps. My coach told me to get straps, but I just haven't ordered the straps. I'm not gonna. I'm not, they're they're honestly they're out of my program now, so I'll get the straps later. They're not my biggest priority at the moment. Even though the straps are only like ten bucks, it's just like ten dollars I don't need to spend because the shipping is gonna be like twenty bucks. So I don't want to pay thirty forty dollars for something that's a ten dollar product and the stores are closed because of you know current events. So yeah, there you go. Now here's doing, me doing the speed work. A lot of people ask, do you ramp up for speed work? Yeah, this is how I ramp up. Bar and the bands. And then I get into it. That This is my ramp up. This is my warm up. So there you go. Same weights. Uh, 215, I believe I'm doing 215. Or no, 210. I'm doing 210. Of straight weight and 115 of bands. It should be 130, but we're doing 115. Honestly, I don't know if my coach changed it from 25% band tension from 30, but I do 115 pounds anyway, just the blue and the uh, green band. I'm not that fast, you can see. I have improved from this time on my speed work, definitely have. Uh, honestly, sometimes i just not really motivated on the speed work. I know that's kind of weird because in other videos, if you watch me regularly, I've attributed a lot of my gains to the speed work, <laughs> like a lot of it, a majority of it, especially on the lower body, I've said. But here you are seeing me go slow. It's just not as fun. Uh, but now my speed work is much lower weights. My coach didn't like the speed. Uh, 
you won't be seeing that for about another month. I haven't even done those workouts in real time of a much lower speed. So again, on the sumos, my 445 max sumo that I've done before, the bar went down, so it wasn't really a max, but I've been using the 445 as a max number. I hit 430 super clean right before the 445, so I'm estimating my max is anywhere between 435, 440. But uh, I use the speed work as an opportunity to practice setup. At this point, I am a little happier with my setup because I don't believe, I, I believe I'm strong enough to hit the 445, but I just wasn't set up properly. So I was, I messed up my joint, uh, the joint angle from the beginning by looking down a bit. I wasn't upright like my squats and a sumo for me is really similar to my wide stance, my wide stance box squat specifically. So I'm a bit faster here than in other videos. Here's me doing the good mornings. Uh, honestly, I lowered the weight of the good mornings to 205, much lower than my, I think I was doing safety squat bar good mornings, 225, and I did it for 12 on my last set. And that's heavier than uh, my percentages on that max and heavier than my good morning, straight bar good mornings. And straight bar good mornings are easier. And I do max more on my straight bar good mornings. I max about five pounds heavier. But this is still too low of a weight. The reason why I lowered the weight, I wasn't used to the straight bar good mornings. The reason why I rotated straight bar in is I was peaking for my meat. They got postponed. And you just want to use the straight bar a little more during those times because you're going to use a straight bar in the meat. So all those safety swap are, in my opinion, definitely my coach's opinion. That's why it's programmed. For most people and specifically for my needs in my situation, it is a superior bar for a lot of, uh, you know, training work. But when you're going into a competition that uses a straight bar, you want to practice the straight bar. Here's me on the belt squat. Uh, honestly, I didn't check the sheet. But for a, I realized uh, just recently that on my speed days, I'm not supposed to do belt squats. <laughs> I'm supposed to just, yeah, not do them. And I, I did them for a while. So I don't remember if I was supposed to do this or not. But anyways, a plate 35. I increased the weight again. Form still good. Uh, I'm still hitting like at least 12 reps, so I'm satisfied. I am getting deep uh, quads. They're, they're just getting huge now. Uh, after mm -hmm. I catch up on my videos here, I'll do, I don't want to say a physique update because that's not the type of channel, but I'll do a little something like that because I am cutting for a weight class. So in terms of weight classing, uh, weight classes for a competitive sports environment, um, you know, you might want to see what I look like. And also, hey, you are training for physique. You want to have strength standards to go with that physique because you can actually track the strength standards. But anyways, yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching. The next one will be out really soon.